morning, everybody. I hope you all are off to a great day. It is time to announce the Mini Mayhem Fall 2019 dates. It is October 4, 5, 6. So we will be there for the first time starting on Friday evening. Mini Mayhem is our biannual self-hosted meetup. We have people come from all around the country to Busco Beach ATV Park, which has over 2,000 acres, uh, jumps, mud, drag racing. It has a little bit of everything to go out and ride and have a blast. So if you're not familiar with it or you just want to get hype for fall 2019, watch some of our old Mini Mayhem videos. They're a blast. We are doing the sign up a little bit differently this year. Go to our website, cars-cameras.com, and there will be a Mini Mayhem tab, or you can just visit a link in the description of this video. And there's more information about the event and a sign up form as well. We are looking forward to seeing you guys there October 4, 5, 6. Bring a mini bike, bring a go-kart, bring a dirt bike, bring a UTV, bring whatever except for a full-size vehicle. We'll see you there, enjoy the video. What's up everybody, I'm John. I'm Ozzy. And we are Cars and Cameras, and this 750 is driving us up the wall. We've been tuning it uh, on and off camera, and we just can't seem to break 7,000 RPM, which is weird, because back when we got it running on the bike, we hit 9,000 RPM once, and we can't seem to break through seven right now. So we have a few irons in the fire. We're looking at buying new bikes with different engines, or even the same engine. But for now, we're gonna focus on the chassis. There's a little bit of slop in the steering wheel I'd like to take care of, and we also need to redo our steering just a little bit so we can have Ackerman steering. So with Ackerman steering, you want the center of all your wheels as you're going around a corner to intersect at the same point, that point being in line with the rear axle. So your inside wheel is actually turning sharper than the outside so they can meet at this point. So to achieve Ackerman, we are going to go for figure one C. Check it out. So if we cut our steering angle arms, whatever you want to call them, and we mount them to where the angles intersect at the rear axle, that should be a good way of guesstimating how much Ackerman we need. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut part of the tab off that's already here, the part that we're not using, and I'm going to put it underneath here, and I'm going to bring it in at an angle, and I'm going to weld it up kind of doubling them up, making them stronger. This one gives us Ackerman and reinforcement. Bingo. Hopefully it'll steer a little bit better with a more ideal kingpin angle. We'll see. It's all guesswork anyway. Turn it in a little bit more. We thought it would be easy. We thought we could just cut and re-weld to get Ackerman and to shorten the uh, steering ratio, but oh no, the shock mounts are in the way and more. The biggest hurdle is the steering rack. It works great, but it belongs on a go-kart. Um, there's just not enough throw to get what we want out of this steering rack. So I'm going to look into another steering rack. I am going to be working on figuring out a steering box. You'll be working on these spindles. Because our original steering rack is limited on throw, we are switching to this new type. Uh, you can find it at gopowersports.com using a link in the description of the video. But anyway, Ike thinks he can use that one better. So if you just add some length to the steering linkage, the further out it goes, the further throw it is. This hurts me, dude. Yeah, we're having to relocate the master cylinder too. All just so we can get Ackerman steering.
Got it now, buddy. Oh yeah. So, we need to drill that into the floor, bolt it to the floor. Yep. And then we can install our tie rods. You owe me five bucks, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're going to be doing the bottle cap challenge with the master cylinder cap. <laughs> yes, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Honestly, it might be too stiff or it might be spot on. Dude, I mean, that would get it out of our way. It sure would. Definitely. Cover. Yep. That'll do it. All right. I'm uh, still working on this master cylinder, so yeah, don't shut this thing off because okay. I'm going to do some welding too. Sounds good. Why is it a bad idea? Because it's stupid. Because I don't like it. There it is. Bam. Look at that brake movement. Is that all the brake movement we have, dude? Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. It's going to be stiff, I told you. That is full brakes? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't know that was part of the deal. Don't mind the zip tied throttle. Dude, let's give it a shot. Fingers crossed. All right, man. How does it feel so far? So far, it feels pretty good. Excellent. We have Ackerman. You want to check, dude? Look oh, at dude, that. you can look at oh, it. Oh, yeah. You can see it. Yeah, we have Ackerman. Excellent. Awesome. Yeah. Because sometimes just spot welding is stronger than going the whole way. Oh, really? Yeah. Well. All right, so we have our modified tie rods installed and we are pretty much ready to go. This is the last wheel. And with this setup, we're also tucking the front wheels in closer to the spindles like we mentioned in the beginning of the video and that's gonna give us a more ideal kingpin angle. So it looks like we're towed out a little bit in our eyeball alignment, but it looks like a side effect of changing the steering is that we actually got rid of all the bump steer. It was just a little bit before. Yeah, there was only a tiny bit before, but it looks like we have none now, which is awesome. Perfect. It is not running good at all. Put her neutral. So the chassis feels great. The suspension for the first time, the steering feels like it has some bite to it once you turn the wheel. Uh, it's a great feeling. It feels like a really nimble car. That's the best way I, I can describe the steering feel right now. It's been a few days since we've seen you and the cross cart is running on two cylinders again, so we can't really go out drifting if we have no horsepower. Um, I ordered coils online because at the time it seemed to be that's what our problem was, but now it's only running on uh, two cylinders like the left two or the right two rather than the outer two or the inner two and each coil the coils control the outer two and the inner two not like the left side and the right side if that makes sense at this moment we got other problems uh we could have a fouled out plug so i'm i'm just waiting to crank it over to see if we got spark or not okay well, it'll, it'll crank up okay so just saying Oh yeah, this one's flooded. Yep. Oh yeah. We got a bad spark.
spark plug here. It wasn't jumping the gap. It was actually sparking between the uh, insulator and there, which is going to be a problem. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Uh, which it's it's flooded for one thing. Here, I'm going to swap it from to a good running cylinder. Let's see if that does anything. Ike, what did you say earlier, man? This will be a good example of KISS. Uh, of the KISS. <laughs> Keep it simple, stupid. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we this is we we have not put new spark plugs on this thing. Nah, we should have and started with yeah. that first. I know. Oh well. You ready to try it? Oh, I'm ready. Just make sure it's not in gear. Not in gear. Here we go. just fix this problem with spark plugs dude I'm gonna be both happy and very embarrassed I would be too buddy and pretty terrified because now it's gonna actually like try to kill us was... yeah it was turning up dude so the carts loaded up and we're headed over to Ike's cousin's place dirt chicken so wish us luck <clears throat> all right helmet So dude, I don't know how it feels for you, but you are shooting dirt like 20 feet out from behind you. It is gnarly looking. Really? Yeah, like it is, rooster tails it is and stuff? shooting dirt. Yeah. Is it going straight out or is it going up high? A little bit of both. You'll see. A little bit of both? You'll see. Sweet. Yeah. All right. So is it my turn? Um, no, I'm not done yet. Yes, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> so the carburetors weren't synced up, uh, but Dirt Chicken thankfully had a zip tie for us. Yeah. So a uh, little bit of zip ties and uh, the carbs are synced. <laughs> hey, John. Yeah? You have to, over here, Yeah. You have to get on it to spin the tires to get it and make this corner sharp. Okay. Oh, so loud. Boy, you turn you are turning that thing for all it's worth. Well, I mean, you know. You like to party. I like to party, what can I say? Oh man. Um I need to like go think about this experience before I can put it into words. Um fast it is fast mm -hmm. it is fast this is not big enough for to stretch this thing out no this is second gear not I even know. quite the top of second 
It's like uh, warp speed, dude. All right, you want to give it another go? Could I? Yeah. It needs paddle shifters too. I, I have I have a hard time with that thing. Okay. Yeah. I'm 20 feet away and I'm getting sprinkled by pebbles and stuff. Holy. <laughs> We did it, man. Yep. I did a third gear around that corner, uh -huh. and it it knocked itself in the neutral. I had a bump, and it knocked itself in the neutral. That was the yeah. I heard that high yeah. rev. But you know, it's probably because the stick is so long. Yep. I would like to eventually go with the paddle shifters. Oh yeah, sooner rather than later. Yeah. Knock on wood, like our biggest hurdle has been just been accomplished. Oh, it's it's done. The biggest hurdle is done. So now we need a harness, which we already have. Yeah. Oh, might as well replace the coils. We got those coming soon. Mm -hmm. I'm already making intake manifolds. Might as well finish them up and see if they're any better because okay. they are going to flow better than what we Sounds have now. Good. Paddle shifters. We need to balance the tires. Yep. Um, and then like we can do a massive burnout and then put some really, really aggressive tires on this thing <laughs> and uh, see what we can do. Fan. We fan. We need a fan, need a fan ASAP. And another roll hoop. I am excited. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I'm not even kidding. Like I've been losing sleep over this engine not running right. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, it is so fast. I think we need to take to the drag strip after we get the rest done and painted and everything. I don't know. Uh, the possibilities are endless here. Uh, it's amazing. Follow the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. Yep. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram in between videos for sneak peeks at Cars and Cameras reviews. Uh, subscribe to Cars and Cameras for future updates on the cross cart. What should we do with it? I feel like we uh, should put it up against some of our other projects. Let us know in the comments what you should think or what you think we should do with it. Check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.